Microsoft Windows recently announced that there's no longer an option for a taskbar on the side of the screen or at the top of the screen. Now, this is really frustrating for power users who have reasons to have a taskbar somewhere other than down here at the bottom. So I'm going to show you what I do in order to put um, a lot of different things that I use on a regular basis, like I use uh, Explore frequently, Screenshots frequently. I use Cortana all the time. And these things without having a taskbar, without having access to those things quickly, really makes my process slower. So this over here, this is a artist pad. This is a slim artist pad from Tablet Pro. You can customize this to your heart's content so you can put modifiers and different things on it as well as uh, trackpads, um, modifiers that you can put a bunch of things call the touch keyboard and a lot of different options. Now in the background I have running because I think it's really cool. I have lively wallpapers which is in the Microsoft Store and it's free. We're going to turn that off. You can see the regular desktop. We're going to pull up here, Spotify, Steam, Outlook, and then we can switch back and forth between these. And I have these, you can see down here, Win key plus five. Um, this is Win key plus six. And all it is is it's just hitting the hotkey that opens up the taskbar items. So over here, you can do, like I said, a whole bunch of different things. And I'll run through what this one has. Uh, here at the top, I have Keypress OSD. This allows you to put in um, snippets. So if you use something like um, my email for Tablet Pro, I just type in and it expands out. Um, and you can set those up really, really quickly. And then anytime you're typing, you can have it expand out into formatted text. It's pretty cool. You can press this if you want to take a screen grab. Open Windows Explorer. I have this one set up for Outlook, which really you can just do right here. And if you want to customize these to whatever it is you want, you can just right click. Turn the tool tips on so you can see. You can right click here, choose Layout, Edit, and then customize what these things do. So I'm going to show you something that I think is really cool and powerful. So here I'm going to make this transparent. Now, if I'm watching a online tutorial or I'm taking an online class, I can actually just right here on the screen while I'm watching the video in the background. This is super useful, really, really powerful. And so I can turn on and off the video and control. I can put media controls over here on the left. Even having something like undo on a taskbar area is so useful. It's really nice. You can use this button right over here to show or hide the taskbar. So we're going to toggle it back on. You can press it again to toggle it off. And here we can show or hide the desktop easily as well. And this is program specific. That means that if you want this to show this when you're on the desktop, you can have it show on the desktop and then open up here. This is the main control panel. If you want more buttons than a slim taskbar, you can use something a little larger. You can switch between different ones built for different programs. And it's very, very powerful. So this is Tablet Pro. This is an alternative to the taskbar inside of Windows. This is a touch panel. It works with programs. If you have something like ZBrush that supports simultaneous pen and touch, you can use this at the same time, just like having a keyboard, but without all the extra pieces. All right, you guys, if you have a stylus and you use Windows, then this is a great channel for you to be a part of, to subscribe to. If you like being able to control your tablet experience, your touch experience, but with a bit more power. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.